Hello everyone, I am Dr. Sumita Muttu, Pediatric Ophthalmologist at Narayan Netralia. Well, you can see me standing amidst all these glasses. Myopia is the most common type of spectacle power. Does myopia just mean change of glasses? Does it just mean switching from one spectacle to the other? No, myopia means much more. Myopia keeps increasing as your child grows older. The eye elongates and along with this, the minus power also keeps progressing. So higher levels of myopia does not just mean thicker glasses. It also means greater risk to the eye. There is risk of high pressure in the eye, there is risk of retina problems and also the risk of getting cataract at a very early age. So it is best to keep myopia on check and at a low level so that the eyes remain healthy over the long run. The COVID pandemic and last couple of years has not been very easy for children. With online classes, restricted outdoor activities and children spending several hours on phones, tabs and computers playing games or watching videos has all had a bad impact on children's eyes. This makes the minus power or myopia progress at a very rapid rate. Thus, we started an initiative to flatten the myopia curve. We came up with a myopia clinic to help curb the progression and keep the number on check. So what happens when you visit the myopia clinic? This is the myopia master. The myopia master takes important measurements of the eye and predicts to what level the myopia can progress in future. The myopia master also gives us useful information to help choose the best treatment option for your child so that the minus number can be kept on check. So what are the treatment options which are available to control myopia progression? The first most important thing is lifestyle modification. You must reduce the screen time, control the amount of time that your child spends on tabs, mobiles and TV. You must also encourage outdoor activities because lots of studies have shown that sunlight has a positive effect in controlling the myopia progression. So of course because of online classes it is not possible to completely avoid screen time. So taking certain precautions like keeping the mobile or laptop at a farther distance Taking frequent breaks every 20 minutes and looking at something far helps relax the eyes. Your child must not again play on mobile or tabs when your child is uh, you know, having some free time. So these are all some precautions that you can take. So what are the other treatment options available? So there is atropine eye drops which helps control the progression of myopia. There are also specialized contact lenses which can control the progression of myopia. One is Ortho-K which is the nightwear contact lens and the other is the soft multifocal contact lens which is a daywear contact lens. So once you visit the myopia clinic and uh, we do various tests, we can choose the best treatment option for your child. The control of myopia progression lies with you and your child as much as it lies with us. So let us flatten the myopia curve together. Thank you. Each of us has an important role to play in this regard. So far we saw what you can do as a child or as a parent. Here's how teachers and pediatricians can help us too. Teachers are the first one to pick up that a child struggles to copy from the board or that he or she squeezes his eyelids to see better. So these are subtle signs of myopia which you can pick up early. Pediatricians are the ones to be approached for any problem that a child has. Having a vision chart in your clinic may simply serve as a screening tool. A timely referral at the age of 1, 3 and 5 years is highly essential to pick up important eye diseases including myopia at the right age. This is especially important if the parents are myopic. So let us flatten the myopia curve together.